Imagine this. A single cell from your body is placed in a life-sustaining solution. You and the cell are miles apart. When you experience an emotion or pain, the cell registers the identical response, fact or science fiction. Is your last name Moore? Yes. Is your first name James? Yes. James Moore is being tested by a polygraph machine, or a lie detector, which measures heart rate, respiration, and galvanic skin response, and can reveal his emotional state. What is your attitude uh, about This me? woman is participating in a demonstration. She isn't hooked up well, to any machine, but cells taken from her body are, and the cells which are located in the next room seem to be reflecting her emotions. Cleve Baxter, a polygraph expert, explains. We're really talking about a kind of extrasensory perception down at cellular level. White cells are an integral part of the human immune system. And from what we can find, <clears throat> the white cells are very, very sensitive to the emotionality of the donor of those cells. To demonstrate this, Baxter had Gail Anderson, a nurse, rinse a saline solution in her mouth to collect white cells. Baxter centrifuged the saline saliva mixture. The white cells were then taken to another room and attached to an electroencephalogram, or EEG, which is usually used to measure brain activity. This time, the EEG would monitor Gail's white cells in the test tube, while Gail, in another room, was asked a number of pointed questions designed to arouse her emotions. You're basically a Republican, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a Republican. And your boyfriend, Brad, is a Democrat, is that right? Yeah, he sure is. How are you going to work that out? We uh, have problems with that. Yeah. Yeah. Now remember, okay. Gail isn't attached to any monitor. Only her white cells are connected to uh, the EEG in the next you, room. Do you have anything to do with how he voted in the last election? Did I had really tried to persuade him, but I couldn't get him to see the light. He couldn't see him. Fortunately, uh... <laughs> Amazingly, <laughs> Gail's fun. detached body cells oh. appear to be reflecting her emotions. One thing I think we could do, maybe to get a reaction out of you, have your boyfriend Brad come over and sit on your lap? Is that what you wanted him to do before we, uh... Yeah, come over, here, come over here and sit on my lap. <laughs> you, you, you really mean it now, this time. Except take off your shirt. No. <laughs> I can't put that on there. <laughs> well, we, Brad. <laughs> Baxter decided to take his experiment a step further and see how much distance he could put between Gail and her detached white cells. Gail took a walk in a high crime area of San Diego. The white cells remain connected to the EEG at Baxter's laboratory several miles away. Baxter wanted to demonstrate that any anxiety Gail might feel during her walk would be experienced by her white cells back at the lab. Gail encounters a panhandle. What? Listen, I don't have, I don't have any money. I don't have anything. I don't have anything but my jacket. Incredibly, Gail's white cells have indicated they sense Gail was feeling some distress in another part of town. If this is true, the implications are overwhelming. Once we get beyond Earth distances, if we were to have uh, cell samples from an astronaut that was on a manned space probe, let's say in the orbit of Mars, but it let us say 10 minutes away by speed of light, if there is an instantaneous communication, we should be able to tell when they are having their troubles, uh, where they're being emotional, and this would mean an awful lot, uh, rather than to wait for hundreds of light years, we could immediately communicate. Our thoughts may have a far greater power than we can imagine. Anything that involves anger or hostility creates a great disruption in the electrical activity in these cells that we are testing. It means that people should be very, very careful of the quality of their thinking. Don't think negative. Think positive thoughts. Though interesting, more work needs to be done under scientific conditions and controls. At present, his hypothesis can be explained as no more than random results.